Can Innocent Vehicles uh, increase its market share across Africa? This is, of course, Nigeria's indigenous automobile vehicle company. Now, we spoke with an analyst from Financial Derivatives Company Limited about this matter about six days ago. Let's take a listen. Actually, I think it's a bold move and a good one at that because um, so far they've been able to expand their capacity in Nigeria. Of recent, they, um, they in Inewi is their main plant, but yep. they made two, they created two new plants, which if you combine their capacity, they can make up to 32,000 vehicles in a year. Okay. So, um, and with the support of the government, because I learned that they're, um, they are producing um, um, Nigerian army vehicles. So the government is actually supporting them to make these things. And I heard, you know, this IVM connect thing with um, Uber and, uh, and Bolt. Yeah. They're actually helping to increase employment by, okay, so you can finance this, you can finance these vehicles, you can get them brand new, finance them in the space of like two years, yep. and then at the same time make money. So they are giving these opportunities, and I feel like if they're able to do that right now, they should be able to like expand and go into like um, other countries in Africa. I learned that they're also um, selling these vehicles to not just, it's not just in Nigeria, they, they have market in Ghana, in Syria alone and the like. So I think that they can move forward apart from what they're doing now in Nigeria. I know that too. All right, we're now joined by the founder and chairman of Innocent Vehicle Manufacturing Limited, Mr. Innocent Chukuma. Good morning, sir. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Appreciate having you on the show. Uh, so can you help clarify, is Innocent you know, a manufacturing vehicles in Nigeria or assembling? Can you can you clarify that for us? Yes. Uh, well, um, uh, thank you very much for this question because so many people are confused whether we are doing manufacturing or assembling. Yes, I'm telling you that we are we are the only company in Africa that doing manufacturing auto manufacturing in Africa. We are doing motor manufacturing. As you are now in the factory, you have opportunity to go to the factory and look at it very well. By yourself, you tell public what you see, whether we are doing manufacturing or assembly. So I will take you to the factory to see what we are doing by yourself and see the, um, the quantity of local input and other things. Then you tell me what it is. Okay, all right. Okay. Can you um, comment on the availability yes. of steel in Nigeria to be able to expand vehicle manufacturing in Nigeria? Oh, I'm not a steel manufacturer. What I do is always give the st steel dealers the millimeter of the steel I need. They, um, they supply to me from local manufacturing, and if anyone they don't get there, they can suck from anywhere. I don't produce steel, so I don't know much about steel. So what it, I'm doing is motor manufacturing. I order the steel from the steel dealer, to the steel dealers. So the steel dealers will tell you more about steel. So and from your me what I want always. Great stuff. So from your vantage point, but as I, far as availability of steel, work, 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 you have enough that you need to uh, carry out your production. Yes, I have some people that I give contract to supply me steel. I did not supply me anyone I gave them, and um, they told me uh, sometime. They tell me that um, some gauge is not available, but sometimes they supply me available. So, and um, there, there is a steel manufacturing company in Nigeria. I'm sure they are sourcing them from, uh, sourcing the material from them. Most of them, because I don't have time to go to the steel factory. I don't produce steel. I only give them all the options, see what I want. They bring to my factory and I pay them. Excellent stuff. What about what about power? How, what what about power availability? How important is that in what it is that you do in your company, putting your vehicles together? Oh, that's wonderful. Well, when we started this factory, the power station in this country is very poor. Uh, but today, there's a lot of advantages and the improvement, and the more hope with this diesel, uh, with this gas line coming in. So there's more hope for power. So I don't um, power is no longer the issue the manufacturing today in Nigeria. Only that the cost, the cost of the power is high because of um, tariff for manufacturing is high, mainly for Southeast. And the cost of the uh, power is very expensive for manufacturing, but we are managing and we are, it's, not, it's no longer an issue. But it will be difficult for young ones to start because of uh, the cost of the power. Uh, because um, if they can be able to make the cost of the power uh, uh, normal cost that the people living in the house are paying. But the, for the manufacturing, is too high. And it was made by government. So 
Uh, if, the, if the government wants to consider manufacturing, they will consider reducing the late for the manufacturers. The manufacturers are paying so high. So many young industries close down because of high cost of power. Power is, power, uh, power is now more stable, but the cost is very high. If there's anything government can do to reduce the cost for manufacturers, it will help the young manufacturer. Most young manufacturers are because I'm like, um, I'm always um, um, mentor to the younger ones. So when I'm discussing with them, I find out that their major problem is the cost of the power. They have power, but the cost is very high. So most of the industries cannot be able to move on with the um, high cost of the power. If government can look at that one, the costing, it Got will it. help. Thank you for that. You have a plant in Newe, um that's in Anambra, and there's a you know, new governor there as well. Do you have plans to build more plants across Nigeria and other geopolitical zones, and does it make economic sense to do so? Well, I have plants in Newe, and um, my plant capacity, the foundation of the capacity is 60,000 vehicles. And, um, and also, and uh, I have done two plants already, in Newe, which is enough. But I'm thinking to do another one in another area, another zone. Of the, but um, I'm considering any state that be more using of my vehicle to send one to that state, anywhere at all, anywhere in Nigeria. Um, I'm not ready to go out of Nigeria now. I just want to stabilize with Nigeria. Um, other countries want me to have a plant in their country, but uh, my interest is to do it in Nigeria. Let Nigeria work perfect before thinking of anything. Okay. So in any state that been been my good customer that buying motor very well for me, we have opportunity to set a plant to produce that particular one their state need so that it, the, 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 it will be easy to supply them. Okay, great. Now, um, Arise business analyst uh, Chika Mbono, he's repeatedly said on this show that the federal government should patronize innocent vehicles more. He says instead of government officials spending foreign exchange importing cars, they should turn to you and also create an environment for more innocents and other local manufacturers to come on board. Do you have any current deals with government? Do you have the, you know, and do you have the capacity to handle that kind of demand um, if they were to demand vehicles from you? Yeah, number one is that the federal government is trying their best to make sure to patronize local manufacturing and many vehicles. Federal government is doing so well on that. And uh, we have capacity to accommodate more quantity. So it depends on individuals. If individuals start to buy and show that um, in the near future there will be more of innocence everywhere. Because when other people see that the government is patronizing and doing well with um, the products, and sure, more people will make the factory and um, uh, uh, Nigeria, will be, uh, many people will get more work because motor industry has a lot of work. Has a lot. He need a lot of manpower. So it's one of the things that will accommodate our idle men, so that these young ones will will be busy, not thinking for other things. Because when the young ones are busy, I don't think they will have time for all these troubles everywhere. So if government can encourage more people to do not only encourage nursing, but I believe when they encourage nursing very well. Other people will look at it and try to uh, um, do the same thing so that they will get the encouragement from government. Great stuff. Um, so I want to ask you about vehicle financing. In, in South Africa, you can finance a vehicle, place a down payment, pay off the balance over time. One of the hurdles to vehicle ownership in Nigeria is a lack of extended vehicle financing. Uh, what, what's your take on that? How do we address that here? Well, the same thing can happen in Nigeria if things are working very perfect. Those who have a good work, if the organization is working for um, assure us of our money within so three, four years, we are ready to give the vehicle. But most time, the organization is not ready to sign for them. When the organization didn't sign, in South Africa, the organization signed for them or their bank. So I cannot give anybody vehicle to pay um, monetary when there is no guarantee behind it. But if the, person, if, the, if the organization is working for, can be able to write to me, uh, I, can, I can release the vehicle for the person. The person will pay within four years. Uh, because the, uh, the, the organization he's working for, or the bank he's going, we guarantee that the money will be coming every month for three, four years. It's acceptable. Mm. Okay, so we, need, we need, definitely need more financing in Nigeria. All right, let me also ask you about insurance penetration in Nigeria. It's pretty low. Um, particularly for vehicle insurance, not enough vehicles are insured on our roads. 
How, how can that, in your view, be uh, improved? Most of people who refuse to do good insurance in their vehicles, because of the threat the insurance company gives to them, because sometimes insurance company cannot pay them when they have problem with their vehicle. So the procedure for them to pay becomes very difficult. He lost if, um, upon his paying the, the premium for the insurance. But uh, sometimes when the vehicle gets problem, the insurance will not easily pay him. So some, some people, when I discuss with them to do their vehicle insurance, comprehensive insurance, they tell me that last time they get problem with their motor, insurance is not listening to them. So how can you force them again? Mm. Because I'm always advising my customers to go for insurance. Insurance will help them. Even sometimes when people buy motor from me, before I deliver the vehicle to the person, I would like to contact insurance, do it comprehensive insurance for transit. But when I hand the person over to do, to do his own insurance, he said he don't want to do insurance. That last time, insurance did not pay him for his own crime. So uh, it's insurance to sit up, to do correct claim to people. So people, their business will be going well if they are paying well. I don't see any reason why anybody can drive a vehicle without insurance if the insurance are paying well. So let insurance start paying well so that people will be sure of doing insurance. Their business will be multiplying. They employ more people. Mm. All right, thank you for that. There's been a lot of talk about climate change, electric cars from the West. Do you have any plans to make uh, an electric innocent vehicle in the future? And is, or is that even a practical question right now considering our power challenges? Electrical vehicle, the most important thing that's what I'm doing in the vehicle is to, be, to make the body. I don't produce engine. I import engine from the engine companies. So most time, if I want to do electric vehicle, the same vehicle, I will buy the battery and other things, the same thing. So electric vehicle is nothing. I can do it easily than anybody because I have the capacity to do it. It's very easy. Mm. I like your confidence. But if uh, the demand you. comes, before right, I will start. Demand. Great stuff. Yes. Mm. The, I want to ask you about uh, CNG, mm. compressed natural gas. The federal government has, well, exp expressed plans to convert vehicles to compressed natural gas from fuel. What do you make of those plans? And can you key into it with your vehicles? Okay, I am now producing some vehicle for, um, for NMPC with CMG, with CMG engine. I have done, um, I'm almost finished the production, and um, I do the CMG, the best quality of CMG, and uh, it was built from the factory that um, is the best. And CNG will help everybody because the consumption of CNG is better than using gas. So if people can be able to convert to CNG, it's benefit for the nation because uh, the transport costs will drop down if they understand what is CMG. Because Nigeria has a lot of CMG wasting. So if we can be able to convert every vehicle to CMG, I believe Nigeria will benefit on that. Fantastic stuff. Sorry, it's been a pleasure speaking. And we are ready. To, and we are we are ready. We are loaded. You are ready, ready, ready to, to uh, do the CMG for them. Mm. Fantastic. Yes. All right. Mm. So Innocent can do electric cars. You can do CNG. It's been a great pleasure talking to you, sir. Thank you so yes. much for your time.